Hi guys, what's up? I hope you are doing well. Today I will show you how to create a glitch effect. You need this texture and glitch footage video. Find the link in description, you can get it from there. So, let's start. First of all import these files into project window. Now create a new composition, rename it glitch, and make sure your values must be like mine, then click OK. Drag and drop logo and glitch footage into the timeline. Select the glitch footage, and fix scale to composition, then disable these both icons. Now click on logo, and fix the scale which you want. Select the logo, and drag logo little bit to the top. Go to layer, new and click on adjustment layer and put the adjustment layer on top of glitch video. Now open your effects and presets, and type displacement. Select the displacement map, leave on the adjustment layer. Here put values like mine. How to make it look better then, follow my step. First click on adjustment layer and press Ctrl plus D for about 4 times. Now follow me, and to get random appearance to all effects. Next duplicate it two times the logo. And rename the logo layer green, blue and red. Now go to effect and presets, and search level. Select level individual controls and apply on each of the logos. Now select the green layer, and change these values to 0, for red and blue color. Next select the blue layer, and change values to 0, for red and green color. Lastly select the red layer, and change values for, green and blue color. Now go to blending mode, for the green and blue layer, to screen. Go to layer, new, create null object. And rename it glitch. Then apply the slider control effect. Select red layer, and press P to position. Hold Alt key, and enable the watch icon. Select the glitch layer and go back here. And type wiggle. Bracket. 10. Comma. Then drag the pick quick tool and drag on the slider control. Don't forget to close the end bracket. Now let's change the slider value, and see what happens. How to make a look better, follow my steps.
Now select all these keyframe, and press F9. Let's see the result. Now go to project window, and create new composition. Rename it final then click OK. Drag the glitch into timeline. Then enable the 3D box option. Now create a camera. Then duplicate the glitch layer. And rename it reflection. Click on reflection layer, and rotate your logo. Now apply the fast blur effect, and change values like mine. Go to project window, and drop the texture into timeline, put it on the top of glitch layer, and enable 3D box option. Now rotate the texture to be like mine. Right click on texture layer, select pre-compose and click on second option, then click OK. Don't forget to enable this box. Double click on texture layer. Now select this texture, and apply brightness and contrast effect. Now put these values like mine. Go back final composition, and create new adjustment layer. Now drag it to the top of reflection layer, and apply compound blur effect. Then disable texture layer, and put these values like mine. Now create background, create a new solid layer, and rename it BG then click OK. And take it to the end. Again go to effects and presets then type ramp, and select gradient ramp drag and leave it on BG layer, and follow me. Let's see a final result. That's all if you like my video, gave this video a big thumbs up, and do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.